Wow, 2016, it went by so fast with the amount of tech news we covered this year, but I bet there will be even more tech news in 2017, but we'll be at CES for a little bit, so technically no tech news until January 9th-ish of 2017. Anyways, welcome to Nowling Daily. Looks like Amazon is getting serious about their drone deliveries. Apparently, Amazon has filed a patent with the US Patent and Trademark Office to launch a big floating warehouse near crowded areas and happenings like sporting events. Amazon is calling these blimp-like warehouses airborne fulfillment centers. The warehouses would launch drones that would carry memorabilia or food to people attending music festivals or sports games. The blimps will have shuttles to lower the drones and even to carry people up to the warehouse. Now, this sounds like a pretty crazy idea that will never happen, but if it does, music festivals and sporting events will never be the same. Through some poking and prodding, Twitter user Walking Cat has discovered a new mode in Windows 10 called Game Mode. Walking Cat discovered a new OS library file called GameMode.dll in the 14.99.7 build of Windows 10. Since there hasn't been an official announcement for Game Mode, early speculations say that Windows will adjust its resource allocation logic for things like CPU and GPU to prioritize games when game mode is activated. What do you guys think about game mode? Leave a comment down below. Oculus has confirmed that they have acquired Danish startup the iTribe. As their name implies, the iTribe specializes in eye tracking and they are known for making dev kits for creating gaze-based controls for smartphones, tablets, and PCs. The iTribe apparently has been working on a foveated rendering for VR, which basically renders the part of the VR simulation that the user is directly looking at. It seems like a great act acquisition for Oculus as eye tracking improvements look to be the next step of evolution for VR. It's time for Snippy Snippet. Super Mario Run is coming to Android soon and you can now pre-register for the game and get an alert when it's ready to be downloaded. Jack, Jack, where are you going? I'm gonna get my phone so I can register. We're not done yet. Come back. You can do it after. Volvo has announced plans to integrate Skype for Business into their high-end 90 series cars and they might even look into adding Cortana to their cars. Twitter announced on their blog today that you can now live stream 360 degree video through Periscope. In celebration of Diablo's 20th anniversary this weekend, Blizzard is planning to set up events and items throughout its current lineup of titles. And the 1993 classic PC game X-Wing has been remade with the modern Unity 3D engine. There's a 14 minute video of the updated gameplay. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. The Gurjo Leaf Empire shall fall by the blade of Reginald Figginbottom. <laughs> no idea what that means, sorry Percy. I tried and we even put in British accent for that, but if you have something for us to say, tweet it at us with hashtag NCX YoDog. One last reminder that you have till January 2nd to enter my holiday gift guide giveaway. There's over $4,500 worth of prizes to be won, and if you have no idea what we're talking about, then shh, no, I'm kidding. Check the link in the description to watch the gift guide video and learn more about the giveaway. All right, that's it for Nelly Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment down below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCX. Peace out, my ninjas.